The IndyCar Grand Prix is all set for tomorrow afternoon. This time around, the sixth annual warm up to the Indianapolis 500 may look a little different. Our Charlie Clifford is at the Speedway with that story. <laughs> Streaks are made to be broken, so this will be the year. Yes, we know your IndyCar Grand Prix complaints. No sunshine, no passing. No one can beat Will Power, Simon Pagano, or Team Penske. But a shaky forecast may change everything Saturday. I don't know if you've ever seen an IndyCar race in the wet, man, but it's anything but boring. If, uh, if there's not been enough passing in the past, you'll definitely see it here tomorrow if it's wet. If you bundle up warm, maybe have a beverage or two. There you go. You know, it'll be entertaining on track, I promise you. Friday was different. Penske at times struggled. Pagano slow. Elio completely stuck during his first IndyCar lapse of the season. A learning process, obviously, after one year uh, coming back and. Um, with the weather, of, of course, so you kind of like, whoa, let me uh, get used to it. But it was fun. It was fun. Don't tune in late on Saturday. We know lap one, turn one is really when all the action in this race starts. And then it's kind of follow the leader. The last couple of years, that's been Will Power. He's won two consecutive Grand Prix from the pole. How is the rest of the field sleeping on Friday night knowing that? Man, I'm 40 years old. I sleep, I sleep <laughs> fine. Will qualifies really, really well. He's, uh, his pole... Uh, uh, past is, is pretty exceptional, like regardless of whatever racetrack it is. I'm very excited. I've had such a slow start to the season, so I want to uh, <laughs> have a good month. I really do. Power starts sixth. Felix Rosenquist, it's your job to finish what you started on pole day. Charlie Clifford, Wish TV News 8.